During most field trips, kids are told to look, but don't touch. But today, students from Eugene Field Elementary went on a field trip where touching was not only tolerated, it was actually encouraged. Kelloland's Perry Groton shows you how this visit downtown is sculpting young minds. High Five Bear is a big hit with these Eugene Field fifth graders. But every one of these young art critics has a favorite. That's the coolest sculpture yet. My favorite sculpture was uh, the cat one made of bicycle parts. It was this girl I, artist that races with bikes uh, across the country, and um, she and she just took some parts that she uses to fix bikes to, and she made a sculpture out of it. I like the food chain one just because, well, I think it was kind of the most interesting because, like, all those sharks are just piling on each other. Oh, it's a way up there. At the front. But while Space Cat is cool, the Ark of Dreams is downright inspiring. The Ark of Dreams is a really cool sculpture because it's like what it stands for is really like it speaks to me. And it stands like for a leap of faith. Like, for example, like what do you want to be when you grow up? Julian wants to be a dentist when she grows up with art as her hobby. That's music to the ears of art teacher Megan Erickson. I think it was really cool for the kids to hear some of the background on the artists, that they're, you know, artists who are teachers here in the area, that they're just community members, not necessarily people from far away. I feel like so many of the artists they learn about are people from the past or people from, you know, New York City or Paris or something like that. And these are just artists in our area. This art-inspired field trip is part of a new partnership between Sculpture Walk and the A-plus school Eugene Field Elementary, which encourages students to be involved with the arts. We had called them about, uh, we being Sculpture Walk, had called them about uh, a partnership with them and, and their students about uh, dreaming big and living big. You know, that's, that's the theme of the uh, Arc of Dreams. It was just a no-brainer to want to bring our students to see this huge collection of public art that is just right at our fingertips right here in Sioux Falls. And there's no doubt that Giant Arc is making a big impression. Yeah, I love it because it's, well, really big. It's an arch. I mean, I just like arches. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. After the field trip, the students got to hear from several of the Sculpture Walk artists back in the classroom.